Look, let me, I'm a, let me show y'all. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share so you can keep coming back and getting all the love that you need from me and more. Loves, so many of y'all keep asking me about this half wig on all of my socials. So I was like, let me come and do a video and tell y'all about this new half wig that your girl is rocking. You know, it's spring, summer is coming, and I'm like, let me just tip tap toe in a little bit of color because really I am a 1B black girl. I don't really do a lot of dibbling and dabbling in color. I like it a lot and I have before, but I always find myself back to black or dark brown, whatever you want to call it, 1B. I saw this wig on her Given Hair website and baby, I was like, I gotta have it, okay? Plus, I love the fact that this half wig is actually 22 inches compared to the other ones that I've received from their website. Typically, I receive my half wigs from them in a inch of 16 or 18 but i really love the fact this one is a little bit longer and baby this one is easy to install just like the other ones and look let me i'm gonna let me show y'all you see how quick i took that bad boy off because i don't like to sleep in my wig so i'm falling more and more in love with half wigs by the second even though with the full wig i still take it off but let me just show y'all real quick okay so it comes with four combs, but I always remove this comb right here because my main alopecia spot, let me move this back. My main alopecia spot is in the crown area of my head and combs that sit right there in the very front tend to really irritate my scalp. So I always remove that and they're easy to remove. So it's no issue. And they send you extra combs like if you want to sew them somewhere else. But I just leave these three combs and I utilize them too here okay and then it comes with a drawstring because this is also a ponytail you can turn their half wigs into ponytails i've done it with my kinky one. Oh, she's cute i've never shown anyone that though i need to do that anyways so yeah so it does come with this drawstring i use it just to secure it even tighter but i don't pull it too tight because baby one day <laughs> with one of my other half wigs from them i was trying to figure out why is my head hurting so bad and then something said, Tori, it's the drawstring, girl. You pulled it too tight. And I had to loosen it up. As soon as I loosened it up, headache went away. Okay, so try to be easy. And I'm also very easy on my scalp with the combs. I don't like dig into my scalp and I don't make it where it's super tight, where it feels like it's pulling on my hair. I, I can't do that, especially since I have a sensitive scalp with my alopecia. It also comes, can y'all see? I hope y'all can, yeah. It also comes with these um what would you call it um oh uh, tighteners i guess like you can tighten the wig up through the loops that they have right in here okay i hope i said that right if i didn't forgive me now i do love to you know pull my hair out in the front and i have this stocking cap before i put my stocking cap on i always make sure to moisturize my hair because i have high porosity hair and then i just take my wig Place it on this head of mine. Okay. Ain't it gorgeous? Though? It's pretty and your girl ain't even secured it yet. Okay. She cute and it ain't even secured. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Okay. So now I'm going to secure the comb in the back. Being gentle. If you have alopecia or any form of hair loss, you know, you're dealing with lupus, um, maybe even hair loss from medication or cancer. Be careful if you um, are installing this using the combs. Okay. So my nail is lifting, keeps snagging. Okay. So y'all see the comb, right? You see my hair and I just like to take it and just gently place it not making it super tight just want to secure it without pulling on my hair something stuck in my earring it was this piece okay so where's the comb at over here y'all see the comb okay so now i'm just gonna secure it without it being super tight boom 
we are secure. Now I could just leave it like this. I don't have to do this part, but I do really like utilizing the drawstring just to secure it even more. Cause baby, we can have some windy days in North Carolina. My wig don't need to be flying off when I'm in downtown Raleigh walking out of my good old business. <laughs> but yeah, I just like to take this, pull that drawstring, not too tight. You don't want no headache. And then I tuck the drawstring underneath my wig. And boom, she is cute. Making sure, you know, pull out your hair that you have left out. Making sure that bad boy is out so that you can camouflage the edges of your half wig. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder while I'm talking to y'all. I apologize. I hate when people do that. But yeah, look at that. Tell me she ain't cute. Tell me a lie. Tell me she ain't cute. And you lying. She cute. Always been cute. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I have though. I would like to thank, like I always say, my mother and my father. They did a really great job. They really, really did. And loves, I've been wearing this wig now for a few weeks. I wore it for the first time at the um, Culture Con event in Atlanta at Clark Atlanta. I'm gonna try to insert a picture so y'all can see it. Gorgeous. And I had never worn it before. I washed it before I left because I always wash my wigs when I receive them. Please do so, okay? But um, yeah, I washed and deep conditioned it. And then I just took it right on down to Atlanta with me and y'all, doesn't it look good? It looks so, so good. And then this is how it's looking a few days after that. Bomb, right? Like, come on. And then last week I took a break from wigs. So this week I was like, you know what? Let me go back to my wig. Cause y'all keep asking about it in my videos. So I was like, let me, let me show the girls. Okay. Let me show my loves i absolutely adore and love this wig um if y'all are interested in it it will be linked in the description area i do have a discount code it is an affiliate code y'all know i like to keep it real with y'all with her giving hair company um i can't remember how much the discount is for i'm gonna be honest with y'all but my discount code is tori cs c is in cat s is in sam you don't have to use it. I am not that person. You do not have to use it. I want you all to be comfortable in what you do. If you want to use it, great. If you don't, great. As long as you all feel comfortable, because especially if you're someone like me who has alopecia and you may have alopecia that looks similar to mine's where you can wear a half wig, you want something, you want to invest in something that's going to be good and you want to feel comfortable in what you're investing in. So yeah, no matter if you use my code or not, I really do like the Her Given Hair half wigs for my alopecia. It allows me to leave my edges out. And I must say, I think that by wearing half wigs and not just full like five by five or um, 13 by 14 lace front wigs all the time, it has allowed my edges to breathe a lot better. Um, and I feel like my areas right in here are growing in just a little bit better. But yeah, I still wear those type of wigs. But how can I, I'm just saying, yeah, I feel like my edges are getting stronger. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear like full frontal um, wigs or anything like that. I just think that we have to be careful making sure that you're installing them correctly. And then for me, I really discovered taking my wig off at night and not sleeping in my wig has been really the key because I get a chance to when I come home if I want to take that wig off I can take it off my hair is breathing my scalp is breathing I'm able to massage my scalp love on my scalp with my pumpkin seed oil and all of those different types of things right so it's just it's a lot of benefits for me when it comes to removing my wigs every evening but yeah I'm loving this one y'all she is cute I love it, love it, love it. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you want to see more videos about my alopecia journey. Of course, I share a lot of things on shorts. So make sure that you're watching my shorts because you will miss out if you're not. But if you want more long form videos around my alopecia journey, please let me know. I have no problem sharing it with you guys. Thank you for your love and support on my alopecia videos. Y'all really be holding your girl down and I truly, truly appreciate it. But once again, if this is your first time here, make sure you comment, like, subscribe and share so you can keep coming back and getting all the love that you need from me and more and until next time loves bye